Uh, today we are here to discuss or to exchange on a report uh, that has been in process for some time, uh, looking at uh, enhancing resilience. Uh, it was a participatory action research jointly conducted by Interpeace and Minwumwe, and uh, we are glad that the Ministry made that commitment. Uh, for us to come to a product today that is really owned uh, by the government through the ministry. This is not about some people in an office assessing resilience by themselves. It's about the whole of society approach, mixed methods, so not just quantitative or just qualitative, but bringing the best from the two research traditions and multi-level. the individual level, we have an overall score of 80%. Uh, we actually converted the scores into percentages. With collaboration and negotiation, uh, sending out with an average score of 88%, which highlight uh, a strong capacity for teamwork and uh, conflict resolution among individuals. The second level of assessment was the household or the family level. We have uh, eight indicators and uh, we can see that uh, the overall average score stands at 77% with connection with other families uh, scoring uh, the highest with 84%. Uh, which highlights uh, the strong social ties and uh, community support networks between uh, individuals. The third level was the community, where we have an overall average score of uh, 86%, with a shared sense of national identity uh, standing out with 92%. This is actually the second uh, best scoring indicators of all the indicators in this study, uh, which highlight uh, a strong collective identity that uh, binds the community together. Coming now to the last uh, the institutional level, the overall average score uh, stands at 85.4%. Uh, with uh, effective security institutions uh, leading with uh, an outstanding score of 94%. This is the highest uh, score across all the indicators used in this study. My first comment is to appreciate the approach where you use the participatory approach going to people, asking them what indicators of Udahira know in their context, in their way of living. Uh, so I think it's commendable. Resilience ifata impande nyinshi cyane kandi zose zikeneye kuzuzanya kugira ngo koko umuntu kuko umuntu ni uri hagati niwe byose bireba ibibazo bibera mo Monzego, standu kanye, yo bi bi hanga itumo no bi tuma ya resiliency ida shoboka. Obgoro ya ushaka shati ni hoba kaviri yegiza nuko ugere kani zomhande zose zigize resilience. I'm very proud to say that Sweden has supported various societal healing initiatives from the very beginning of our work in Rwanda. And we're also very proud to be able to say that we've taken a very small part by, in, in this study by supporting Interpeace and therefore also the Ministry and to enabling this conversation to, to take place today. And I very much look forward to jointly working together to take those conclusions forward as we implement them in, in society. 
ubudaheranwa ni nindanga ciri komeye uko turifuza ko na programu nyinshi tuzubakira ku ndanga gaciro z'umuco nyarwanda indanga gaciro za dufasha buke muri bibazo dufite bishingiye kumwe hari ko urwanda bushashatsi rero mino umwe yafatanyije na Interpis nicyo bumaze iyi ndanga gaciro budaheranwa kureba uburyo twayubakiraho dushyiraho za gahunda za program za dufasha kugira ngo dukomeze kuba kumwe bw'abanyarwanda dukomeze kuba ku gihugu gitekanye igihugu giteye imbere ariko dushingiye ku bipimo bigaragara ibipimo byukuri hazavemo nibikorwa bishingiye kubikenewe koko